Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. I'm not very good. I'm not very good at this. You said you you said you knew the premise. I I I've, I've seen things about them. Yes, <laughs> I am wouldn't say that I'm up on this. He's a okay. 10, but he's a lightning fan. Okay. Negative 20. Hey everyone, welcome to Advanced Shouting Presents The Intermission. Joanna, we've lost her already. Alongside Joanna and Alicia, I am Dan Petru. Uh, happy weekend to you all. And we are finishing up, uh, we're going to start today by finishing up the reverse retro jersey breakdown that we uh, did not finish the previous episode because we only have an hour to record these on Google Meets and we are too cheap to pay for this. So we got cut off. Um, we got a little, you know, the fashion, sometimes fashion will make you lose track of time. So we're going to finish up the uh, the. The jersey today and get into a few other things. Better late than never. Better late than never. For context, everyone, mm-hmm. I've stopped up last recording, so we're Correct. Doing this again. <laughs> yeah, we did an entire show and then it, it just mysteriously disappeared. But this time, you brought a dream catcher behind us, which will hopefully catch our record if anything happens. I hope so. God, I hope so. All right, to the Kings. This is actually one of my favorite jerseys as well. I look, they've done purple and yellow a thousand times. But for some reason, this looks different. It looks fresh. It looks updated with a nice old-timey feel to it. I love the logo. Maybe a little more bedazzling of the crown. Um, but I do love this jersey. I give it an A, and I would absolutely buy it. Yeah, I give this one an A, too. I think it really fits the brief. It's retro, but it's not doing too much. Um, Correct. It's clean, sleek. I would definitely buy this. It's cute. I'd buy it. Rest in peace, queen. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that crown has has queen elizabeth vibes that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying i don't see british imperialism there it's the color it's it's, <laughs> it's british imperialism yes yep. yes I'm... and it's not it's not placed upon you know the bodies of uh oh, all I, the countries you're that right. you're she's right. colonized mm-hmm. yes, apologies yep. that was that was that was cool just making me feel even worse for stuffing up last week's recording. <laughs> just throw Joe being in. <laughs> okay, and this is the last one, right? This is the Penguins. Mm-hmm. Um, looks a lot like the one that they wore in the early 90s, uh, but uh, kind of a nice modern update, a take on this. I love the, the piping. I love the shoulders and the sleeves. Uh, it's not egregious with the stripes. The logo is, is, is good. It's clean. Uh, overall, I think this is like an, probably like an A minus. And uh, if I'm a Penguins fan, which I am not, I would definitely, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely buy that. Yeah, I give this one an A. I think um, I really like the logo. I feel like it looks retro. Um, they did what they had to do without overdoing it. I like the piping. The colors look great. And so yeah, it's fantastic. I buy it. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty ace. Pretty ace. Pretty ace. I'm not a Penguins fan either, but. Yeah, on point, on point for me. Woo! All right, so we're so we uh so that finishes up the our our look of the retro jerseys, um, a nice thorough look of the retro jerseys. Uh, so moving forward, we we did talk a little bit about Hello Kitty and the obsession with Hello Kitty, and so we're going to get into that right now before we go back to the NHL. Um, but Alicia here has been um spending. Um, significant time on on the TikToks uh, in the following the Hello Kitty phenomena, and we have I have many many questions. Um, the first one probably being why, uh, but secondly, uh, just can you give us an explanation of this and what you've been purchasing and of also course, when so. to get what? Yeah, all right. Let's just I don't understand the Hello Kitty or the TikToks, so you need to help me here. Yeah. So first, I guess to preface why is because it's cute. Uh, okay. Hello Fair. Kitty. I guess. I basically fell down this rabbit hole on TikTok Live. They have these live channels where I guess women in China just sell cute Hello Kitty items around the clock. So live sweatshop footage. Yeah, pretty much. But they're so cute and it's like a whole little community that I've kind of been part of for the past couple weeks doing research. Um, and yeah, they definitely got me for eighty dollars. So doing, doing research. <laughs> yeah, doing, <laughs> doing research. research. 
Um, only eighty dollars. Yeah. No, seriously. The funny thing, well, the funny thing is, when you were telling us about this, you told us about this mm-hmm. off air. You're like, I, we need to talk about this Hello Kitty thing. This is crazy. People are spending significant amounts of money doing this. I only spent eighty, but they are spending a lot. Of- <laughs> They're spending like literally a hundred and sixty-five dollars like every single day. Because that's like the highest amount of pieces you can buy. Because that's how it works. You purchase pieces and mm-hmm. then you spend it live. So that's also part of the fun. It's like you're shopping live. Oh, it's like the old Wheel of Fortune when you when you used to win the bonus round. They used to have like this big, almost like a department store front, and then it's like, oh, I got to have five five thousand dollars. I'll take the golf club. Exactly. Sort of yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's like you got three hundred something pieces. It's like I want that blanket for fifty pieces. I want that water okay. bottle for twenty pieces. And so. But what's crazy is, yeah, these women are obsessed and they're buying every single day. And I've kind of built a rapport with them. And I've asked, like, how do you guys afford this every single day? Hundreds Mm -hmm. of dollars worth of this stuff. And they literally just said it's depression and credit cards. So that's not good financial advice. It's just do not. (laughs) I'm I'm not 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 a hedge fund manager. I am not a Wall Street bro. I do know that's not sound financial advice. I'm not not at all. <laughs> they literally wait. They literally oh, the wait. Wall Street's right over there. Yeah, is that <laughs> the official <laughs> title? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. A Wall Street bro is a type of person. Yeah. yeah. It's a personality type. It's an absolute personality. I love it. I love um, it. But yeah, they literally wait until payday to buy this kind of garbage in a way. Um, it's just cheap. Hello Kitty cuteness. But just to show you a few of the things that I've gotten so show. far. So I got this cute little water bottle. My favorite character is called Karomi. Oh my god, she's, she's driving, driving a it. cupcake. Yeah. That's pretty she's, cute. She's super cute. Okay. And then I also have gotten a cute little bento box for lunch. Okay. You should do those. And that's her little. With that, yeah. you should do those, Um, you know, those packing TikToks. Oh, yeah, yeah the those, unpacking yeah. ones. But that might help the page no, a little bit, the, yeah. There's like a thing oh. that wives like pack oh. mothers like pack the lunches these fancy lunches oh yeah it's like very children. cute little yeah. lunches yeah i've seen that it's, it's, yeah it's i'm lucky if i throw some like crackers in there <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get this. and then i got some cute little pens and they all have like karomi on them okay yeah. um, i have wow. a blanket too but I'm, it's over there i'm s- I'm a stationary porn addict. So. well they have a lot so i actually have a second package coming Station- wait, stationary porn meaning like non not moving or just like stationary or just actual stationary that you write on both, that, okay both is good <laughs> i didn't realize i wasn't sure if that was like a genre that i would, did not know about. everything's a genre <laughs> okay everything's a genre of course it is this is a genre apparently i'm sure it is hello kitty tiktoks <laughs> oh, no no like our show i've got it up on only fans as well oh my god do you <laughs> no I should oh, if it, hey if it works all right if it works <laughs> where's something so. whatever works where's something yeah you sexy? told me this is not i did not yeah i'm not happy with my wardrobe today but my wardrobe yesterday when you didn't record looked a lot nicer. yeah i was pretty glamorous yesterday mm-hmm. so, yes I, I apologize to be fair it's it's sunday there but great news it's it's halloween here so yay yay i did all kind of halloween activities this weekend with with my daughter <laughs> cecily and my girlfriend amy it was our first halloween so we did we went to a pumpkin patch which she fell asleep and then we went to um uh, botanical gardens we went to uh like a little street parade and then we went to uh, one of our parks which had a dog costume contest Ooh. yeah I saw a post today that there was the New York City Halloweeny parade, and it was all weeny dogs all do- all dots dressed yes. up. Yeah. Well, there was Super a cute. cute. Th- wait, hold on, there was this Dotson dressed up as a Starbucks cup. Hold on a second, let me see if I can find it. I want a dash hound. A Dotson. A Dotson. We call them dash yeah. hounds. In a, in no, we win the war. We don't speak German. Oh my God! No, you, d- <laughs> you didn't win the war. You helped. <laughs> No, no, we won. We won it. You were we there the for two seconds. We'd been fighting that war for ages. And had we not been there, what would have happened? Oh my God. Sprechen's the Deutsche, baby. Fun fact, I actually do speak German. Uh, I actually speak a little lot. I, I understand and speak a lot of it as well. Uh, I for do. this actual reason, actually. Uh, I, I, story, I, I do a bit of French, I do a bit of Japanese, and that's about it. 
Oh, here it is. Let's see. Let's see if I can hold it up here. There. Oh, that's Aww. not good. Well, that's little, you. Uh, is he uh, wearing a little Silas hat? It, no, that's actually yeah, the, 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 that's the latte that's cup. The latte cup. Yeah. Oh, of course, I, I love just, it. Yeah, it's our high technology here, but yeah, unfortunately, the lighting's not good here, but yeah. Send it to me. I'll drop it in. Uh, okay, we'll drop it in. I'm going to send it to you right now um, on what WhatsApp? Yes, please do. Word. Okay, there we go. And next, and send. Okay, so yeah, you can do a little post-edit there. Yeah. Post-production. Thank you. Yes. Um, assuming this records. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear to God, if this, this, I will swim there, and I don't know how to swim, so... <laughs> It's recording. I keep checking. I'm like, it's it's blue. It says the button says stop recording, which means it's recording. To stop a record, you should have to start a record. So I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's blue. It means it's on. We're good to go. We're good to right. go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what were we talking about? Hello Kitty. Hello, Hello Kitty. Kitty. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the, the obsession's crazy. I love the little shops. I watch it every day. My family thinks I'm crazy. But I, yeah, it's like, I can see that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I stopped buying. So <laughs> I'm waiting for my second package to arrive. Right. So when okay. that does come, I can show you guys that. Yeah, you can do it live. You can do it live. Yeah, I can do it live. You know, it's Good. weird, but I think I'm into it. It's just so cute. Like, yeah. I can't stop watching. Mm. Just pink and purple and just cute. I can't stop watching cleaning videos. I. <sighs> I had to delete. Is it cultural appropriation now? Hello Kitty? Yeah. I don't think so. They've okay, capitalized just, on it. So. Trying to be ca- just trying to be controversial. <laughs> I guess it's like <laughs> when little kids are just like Mickey Mouse or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know like when I was I, I actually was looking at old pictures of me as a kid and there was one of me as a pirate and like uh, my mom put like to make it look like I was you know like all like had soot on my face she oh. put like she put just a little bit like right here streaks of like uh shoe polish and now i look at him like thanks mom give me blackface <laughs> yeah i would hide those photos <laughs> yep that's well funny. done mom that's funny well done <laughs> i don't think i had any controversial halloween costumes as a kid one year i was luke skywalker i did not pick that outfit that's an epic that's an epic <laughs> i just respect who picked it i think it was literally like i was with my cousins i was like here's a like a chest of outfits put one on and we'll gotcha. go walk around and you went with like yeah love it it love was not my too. favorite i was That's doc fair. brown a couple of years what? Who's that? doc brown from oh my from back to the future from back to future oh doc Bra- i thought you said dark brown I was like, is that a character? <laughs> I was like, did you get a spray tan? <laughs> like, <what? laughs> my, my pet Dashun. <laughs> Dashun. <laughs> I just said dark brown. I was like, Jesus. This show is oh. off the rails. <laughs> yeah, Yesterday's show was so much clean. That was it was so clean. So, it was so clean. It was tight. It was, I'm yep. sorry. I'm sorry. Do we even oh. play NHL Guess Who now since we already know uh, the answers to everything? Let's bring in Guess Who again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we know oh, we know all the answers. Well, that's great. You can just okay. tell, you can just tell me what the answers are because I can't. Remember. Okay. Nicely produced. Nicely produced. It was nice. nicely produced yesterday. <sighs> Hold on a second. I'm just looking up Noel's number here. <laughs> you, you gonna bring Noel in to, to save to me. save this? I don't know if anything could save this. It's like uh. The Titan, uh, uh, you know, the this deck chair is a ten, but it's on a tit- it's on the Titanic. <laughs> that was a good. That one. was a good one. That was a good one. I love it. I love it. Okay, guess who? Guess the white guy. Yeah, it's a very diverse group, by the way. It is a very diverse group. I, f- the top left was Owen Powers. Mm-hmm. I forgot who the next one was. I've forgotten who the next one. Then we have Connor McDavid. This is this David. is terrible. Okay, so let's just go through. No. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like the ones we really want to focus on. It's like the so top right, obviously, is Austin Matthews, and he looks as creepy as he does in real life. Yeah. But right to the left is a very like concerned Charlie McAvoy. Yes, I remember that. That one's really funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, I do it, enjoy. I do enjoy that one. Yeah. Obviously, if you go down middle left all the way, you see we see um, 
We see SUNY Crosby, and that's absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. And then if you go over to second from the right here, uh, you see Cole Caulfield, middle row, second from the to the right. So middle row from left to right, so one, two, three, four. He um, just saw what his face looks like on this game and is not happy. <laughs> I, I think he looks like Sid from Toy Story. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Like at bottom, bottom left, hmm. Quinn, uh, bottom left, Quinn Hughes looks as sad as he does in real life. And <laughs> for some reason, Kale McCarr doesn't really look like Kale McCarr. It looks more like Matt Barzell. But I'm being told, but yeah, you said that does not look like Matt Barzell. Not at all. No. And then all the way, remember, all the way on the right, bottom right, was David Pasternak, mm -hmm. who does not look a thing like David Pasternak. No. No. He's not nearly as groomed as nicely as that in real life. No. No. I saw this and I was like, who? What? Who is this? <laughs> um, I, I, I really appreciate how they've taken some time to render the... Obviously, the, the the A players really well. And yeah, then, yeah, they did. And then and then the people who are visually attractive. Mm hmm. And then they got just the, a random generator. Yeah. And then they got to Charlie McAvoy and be like, "Look, the game's due in three days. Just get it on." <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Adam Fox, they're just like, "We're running out of people, so yep. <laughs> let, let's just you know put some yeah. put some pictures on a wall, mash them around a bit, and then da da." <laughs> Have you played this game? No, this I have is, not. I played 22. I haven't played 23 yet. Um, this I heard it was hot garbage. 23 no. or 22? Yeah, I heard 23 was hot garbage. Yeah, I heard the same thing. Um, I heard all they care about is online play. They don't really care about the game itself. No, mm. no. 22 was pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I do appreciate the fact that they've introduced the, the women's league, though. That is good. Yeah. Um, I literally, Just look how much time they spent. Like, um, Sydney Crosby looks like a Monet. And then you go down yeah. to uh, go down to uh, the so bottom right, uh, second from the bottom there, so four in, and Adam Fox looks like a Jackson Pollard. I, I think he looks like a potato. Yeah. Yes, he looks like a potato. And when it was in the microwave, <laughs> it's just really interesting, like the contrast. Yeah, and this Sidney Crosby looks so incredibly lifelike. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks you can like tell a robot. automatically it's him, like. Right, he's a robot in real life. He looks like a robot in the game. Yeah, and and Austin Austin Matthews looks exactly like himself. Creepy, hanging outside a uh, hanging outside a playground at two in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Or a seventies porn star. Yeah, either way, creepy. Creepy, both creepy. Yep. Um, and Nathan McKinnon like is giving a disapproving look to Carbs. I <laughs> I don't like this render of Nathan McKinnon. I don't either. No, he looks very angry. He he does, but he also looks like an albino, a little bit. Or like he's, yeah. or you know, he's iron deficient. You know, it, it's just it's, anemia. It's, he's not that pale in real life, is he? I don't think so. No. No. He's Canadian, so he's pale. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Australian and I'm pale, so. You really are. Yeah, it's the Irish in me. Um. Okay. And what what I also don't like. Bear in mind, this is next gen consoles, so we're yes. talking like PS, PS Five, Xbox mm -hmm. X, mm -hmm. whatever it is now. Um, I'm <laughs> looking at this and I'm going, "Wow, wow! I paid how much for my console for this garbage?" <laughs> um, exactly. Some of these look like PS Three renderings. Yeah, yeah, well, Xbox, <laughs> Xbox mm -hmm. renderings. So, um, yeah, that's um, all right. Some some hit some wins and some losses here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'll, I might give it a go, and I'll, I'll do a review on how it plays. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in playing it. All right, that's okay. No, thanks, everyone, for watching. We will see you again <laughs> next week, I think. We should be back next week. I'll be back on Hopefully. point. I'll be back on point. I'll have my okay, tea. It's early, it's early in the morning. Was it 9 o'clock, 9.30 where you are? Uh, it's 10.30 on a Monday. Okay, all right. I have no excuses. Yeah, no excuses. Uh, so I apologize to everyone for watching this train wreck and um, I will edit this the best I can to make it look fabulous. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. If you want to see us train wreck this thing again. Yes, it'll happen. It'll happen. You know, ups and downs. Swings and roundabouts.